Hey, God bless you wherever you're at today and whatever time you're watching this. We want to encourage you to just hang out with us for a few minutes. Uh, we want to bring a daily reminder um, just out of the word. And again, the intention is just to, just to drop a nugget, a thought, something that would encourage you for the day. And uh, we've been just, we've been spending time in the book of, uh, of 1 Samuel in the 17th chapter, the account of David and Goliath. And there are just... Through the, as you walk through that, there are just so many neat little nuggets, neat little thoughts through, through the chapter. And again, we're trusting that everybody's familiar with the story, classic Bible story. Uh, David has arrived at the scene of the battle, and he's standing, and he's listening to the conversation with the soldiers as Goliath comes out, and he begins to taunt and defy the armies of Israel. And David said, who is this guy? He has no covenant with God. King James, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? that he would defy the armies of the living God. Well, that report, David's words, got back to Saul because for 40 days, uh, the army of the Lord, Israel's army, and the king himself had been running into their tents, terrified every time the, this, this giant would show up. And so they brought David before King Saul. And I shared this with you last time, but I want to just pull something different out of this. Again, this is in 1 Samuel chapter 17, and it's in verses 36 and 37. David is standing before the king, and he says, Your servant has killed both lion and bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, seeing he has defied the armies of the living God. Moreover, David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of the Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go, and the Lord be with you. It's really interesting to note that God had prepared David for this moment. We talked about that last time we were together. That God has prepared you. Whatever season you're in and whatever Goliath you may be facing in your life seems overwhelming, insurmountable. God's already prepared you for the season. If you go back the last few years, God's been preparing you for this time in history. But I want you to, I want to share this with you as well. The backdrop, the backdrop of David's life was simply this. He had been serving his father, Jesse. He had been serving his father, Jesse. When the Bible says that David faced both bear and lion, and he, he, he destroyed, he killed the, both the bear and the lion, and God used the, the bear and the lion to prepare David for the giant. The backdrop of that story was that he was serving his father, Jesse. Here it is. He was serving in his father's field, and he was serving his father's sheep. He was serving in his father's field, and he was serving his father's sheep. He was tending them. Well, the Bible says in Psalms 100, verse 3, that we are God's people. We are the sheep of his pasture. Listen, you don't need a title to have a shepherd's heart. You don't need to have the title of pastor to have the heart of a shepherd. In this life that God has called you and I into, we serve, we encourage, we edify, we prefer, we lift each other up. That's what we are supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to do. So here's my question. What practical thing can you today, what practical, practical thing can you do today that would serve the people of God? What practical thing can you do that would lift somebody up? A text, a phone call, send somebody a tweet, whatever the case may be. How can you serve in the Father's field? How can you do ministry? How can you serve in our Father's field? The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof. He owns it all. How can you serve? What practical thing can you do in serving the Father's field? And what thing can you do practically that would serve the sheep? God takes great delight in that. And it's interesting to note that before God ever took David into the palace and from the palace to the throne, before that ever happened, he taught David the imperativeness of serving in the field and serving the sheep. Just a thought, just a daily reminder. God bless you. We'll catch you next time.